Hi, Ellen. Hello. You, you have such a great energy about you. I just, I love you on the show, and now oh, I love you even you. more meeting well, you in person. Oh, I'm very excited to be here. Look at that. It's, uh, it's a trip, man. It's crazy being here. I used to play around this lot and hang out outside and take pictures of that awesome mural. On the back? The, the superhero yeah, you, mural. You worked on, uh, what was the show you uh, were? Eastwick over here. Eastwick. So I'd always sneak over here and show friends, that's where Ellen is. But we can't go in there. Oh, really? So, so now I'm here. Hello. Well, I'm so glad. How weird that is that we yeah. we never saw each other on the lot like that. Well, it's cool. I'm very elusive. I'm, yeah. uh, I sneak behind Are things. you? I was following you the whole time. Yeah. I was hiding behind bushes. So. Really? I actually almost parked in your parking spot once, and I didn't realize it was yours, and so I, I quickly moved right out of there as soon as I oh. realized it was yours. Sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. I, w yeah. I didn't know, and I would not mind. I would. Oh, well, thank you. Well, uh, then I'll write that down. Anytime. Time. Park in Ellen's spot. I mean, someone will tow it, but I don't mind. Uh, um, <laughs> Let's talk about, for the, the first episode, you're singing uh, Teenage Dream, yeah. which was such, I love that. That was so beautiful, that whole oh, episode, you. everything about it. I told Ryan Murphy that was just such a great show. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. And, uh, and then it went to number one mm -hmm. on iTunes, right? That's, yeah. Huge. That's and strange. then you're on the cover of Entertainment guy. Weekly. <laughs> And uh, first of all, are you, are you taking all this in? This is pretty amazing. It's, it's been a roller coaster. I mean, I, before Glee, I was kind of really busy with the, this music career. Then I run a musical theater company as well. And so th all this stuff has been happening that I've still been trying to maintain while being on Glee, which in itself is a very chaotic show. But uh, it's been really special for me because the character is um, something that, I, that I'm very personal about and something that I believe in and it just so happens to be attached to a sort of political package that I'm that I'm very invested in. So aside from it being a hit show and uh, and having a job, you know, it's been it's, it's a been, great job. Yeah, it's a great job. It's a great it's, job. It's been a real bonus. And yeah. and what's great about it, for, the show is good for so many reasons. But you play a very confident gay teen, mm -hmm. which you yeah, don't yeah. see on television a lot. You see a right. lot of people struggling with it or you know gay bashing, but you don't mm -hmm. see teen. It, so to play a confident gay teen is a is a big deal for you. Yeah, I think it's. I mean, it's marvelous that you know Glee's kind of become this this soapbox for a lot of uh, a lot of ideologies, and uh, they really stepped to the plate with with kind of adding this this character that had a lot you know a lot of positive things to say. I mean, a lot of people who may not have found a place to land with Kurt can now have a place. With Blaine, so to be the embodiment of that is is a, is a privilege, you know. And then you then are forced to come out as a straight man because yeah, people, yeah. <laughs> people assume that you're gay, and yeah. now you, uh, which you didn't even want to say, you were trying to say. Yeah, it exactly. For a while, I, 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 maybe in an idealistic world, I would say, you know, it, it doesn't matter because it shouldn't. But by the same token, I think it's important to be explicit about the fact that I'm very, you know, comfortable with my sexuality and that I am the straight male playing a gay character, and that, you know, me playing a gay character is no different than. Max Adler, who plays a homophobic bully, or Heather Morris is, is a ditz. It's a character. It's a type of person, and you know it should be treated like everything else. Right. Well, yeah. I'm I'm glad that uh, that you're playing it, and I'm glad that you play it so well because it, it oh, gives a really you. great character. It's a treat. Uh, and and, a, and a, a great honesty to the show. So uh, I understand you wrote a song for me that I'm I'm very uh, anxious to hear I because did. I'd I like did. to. So you wrote it just uh... just now. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Just now. Just now. Yeah. Uh, I like writing songs really? for people. Do you have a guitar or something? I that think we do. They have my guitar floating around here somewhere. All right. Well, then do you let's mind if I play a little song for Ellen really quickly? Okay. So, you know, when I moved out here, I, I play a lot of cafes and restaurants and stuff, and it's just something I enjoy to do. And uh, I sing a lot of Disney songs, and I'm not going to do that for you, but um, but this is something that you might be interested in. When are we gonna see Finding Nemo 2? They did it for Toy Story and Cars. Well, how about something new? A new story, a God story. I hope you're buying what I'm selling. I know it ain't my choice. I just want to hear the voice of my girl, Ellen. Let's make it happen, Thank please. Thank you so much. <laughs>